All right, everyone, in this video, I wanna talk about why my teeth are yellow and stained uh, pretty bad at the present moment. And what I wanna suggest is that it's a, uh, a perfect storm of about five or six different factors that are contributing to the teeth being so yellow and stained right now. So let me first show you those teeth. I mean, you've seen them in my prior videos, but here's what they look like, really yellow and stained. And I got Invisalign trays on them right now, so that's why they look a little bit shiny and whatnot. So here's the, the stained teeth again with the Invisalign. And of course, I just had surgery about nine days ago. I'm still a little swollen. So before I get into the video, I want to list the factors for you that I think are contributing to the staining. So the first couple factors are two foods that I eat. Black coffee that I have first thing in the morning and... 95% dark chocolate. The next factor that is contributing is that I use a non-traditional non-whitening toothpaste called Aura MD that has no whitening effect. The next thing I want to talk about are the appliances and how my appliances are contributing to the staining, specifically coffee getting stuck in Invisalign because I don't take my Invisalign trays out when I drink coffee in the morning because my Invisalign trays are a pain in the ass to take out because they're I have elastics wrapping around them from my upper left quadrant to the MSE to torque those upper left teeth in. Another factor that's contributing from the appliances is that the appliances are, uh, the, the, the Invisalign trays are preventing saliva from regularly washing and remineralizing my teeth. So I think there's some demineralization that's occurring that's causing the teeth to be become uh, more clear looking and less uh, white and thick looking and that that's exacerbating the stain. Another factor with the trays or with the appliances is that I think that the damage to my front teeth from aga uh, might have caused some deep kind of structural damage to those teeth that has caused them to, to demineralize as well, like a, like a wiltering flower uh, you know, once you poison a flower, it starts to wilter from the inside out, you could say. And I think some of that is going on with my upper front teeth, which is why maybe they look particularly stained. And then the last factor contributing to this perfect storm of things that's causing the yellowness and the stainness is the fact that I'm overdue for a cleaning. I was due for a cleaning back in March, but... COVID-19 shut down dental clinics pretty much, you know, everywhere in New England. But, you know, I had been having cleanings in a few different places. At the Gelb Center, I was having cleanings. And then at uh, a, a dental office uh, here in um, north of Boston, I was having cleanings. All of them are shut down and continue to be shut down. And now that I just had this bone graft done on my upper front teeth... I can't put pressure on those teeth for at least a month or two. So actually, I'm, you know, it's going to get worse before it gets better because I'm not going to be able to have a cleaning until the end of July, which is when I'm scheduled for my next cleaning. So um, a perfect storm of factors all contributing to the yellowness, the stainness of the teeth. One thing I do want to emphasize is that my teeth are, uh, although they're stained and yellow, they're not rotten. Okay, it's not plaque. No, it's not plaque. It's stain. I haven't had cavities in a long time, thankfully. You know, I've been doing really good with nose breathing, keeping my mouth wet. Uh, and obviously, my, you know, my diet is pretty, pretty clean and uh, low sugar. So it's not, what you're seeing in my teeth is not rot. It's just stain. So now that I've pretty much introduced all that, let me just show you a little bit more in detail about what I'm talking about. So, yeah, in the morning I drink black coffee, okay, uh, usually iced. And I think that that getting stuck in the Invisalign tray in the morning when I drink it, like right now. I've got my trays in, I'm drinking coffee. I think a little bit of the coffee goes into the trays and then sits on the teeth and stains. 95% dark chocolate from Taza. Let me see if I can focus on that. All right, this stuff is rocket fuel. All 
All right, it's basically pure cacao. 95% made in Cambridge, Mass. Good stuff, but stains the hell out of your teeth. Not great for the breath either. <laughs> so that doesn't help. Here's the toothpaste that I use, if you can even call it that. It's called Aura MD. Yeah, my camera has a hard time with autofocus on product stuff. So it's called Aura MD, and all this is is a combination of spearmint oil, peppermint oil, and almond oil. It has no whitening. I use this because I, I've always been weary of toxic chemicals going in, into my body. Um, I used to have this, I'm like that with food, I'm like that with shampoo and with uh, lotion and with pretty much everything. I'm very minimalist when it comes to putting uh, unnatural chemicals into or on my body. So a few years ago, I was having issues with canker sores, and I read that that might be caused by sodium lauryl sulfate, in, um, also called SLS, sodium lauryl sulfate, in toothpaste. That's when I jumped off the regular toothpaste bandwagon, and I started using alternative toothpaste type stuff. A lot of people don't even use toothpaste, they just use saliva. Um, so uh, when they brush, uh, that's not me. I do use Aura MD, and this gives you that nice fresh effect but it is not a whitening toothpaste by any means. Uh, of course, you know, um, Invisalign, MSE, TADS, Elastics, all that's in my mouth too, and contributing to general gunkiness and difficulty in cleaning. Now I do clean, I eat twice a day, and I clean thoroughly each time that I eat, I do my cleaning routine after every meal, immediately after every meal, is to uh, toothpick with stimulants. Then I rinse, just swish and spit. Then I use a water pick. Then I floss with string floss. Then I brush with Aura MD. Then I clean my Invisalign trays. Then I put my Invisalign trays in, put my elastics in, and I ship it. I do that religiously twice a day after each meal. So. This really is not a, a, uh, a plaque or a, a cavity issue. This is a stain issue. All right, I want to emphasize that. So anyway, that's it for now. And um, let me know what else y'all want me to talk about. Subscribe, like, uh, do anything you can to support me. Whatever you do to support me, I appreciate. And uh, thanks for tuning in. All right, people, be easy. Peace.